Hi everyone, it's Doreen and welcome back to my channel. Today I have the second part of my Harry Potter series and my do-it-yourself videos. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this scarf and I'm going to be knitting in the round which is the first time I've ever done this. Obviously I'm not like a professional knitter or anything. There's a lot of mistakes in this scarf but they're really not that noticeable and I kind of had to teach myself how to do it so that I could teach you guys and explain some things. So obviously it's not going to be 100% perfect but I really think that it's a fun project and you can do your house. Obviously, I'm a Gryffindor, so that's why I decided to do the Gryffindor colors. The original scarf retails for about $40 at Universal Studios, and that is way too pricey for a scarf. So this way you guys can make it very personalized, and when people say, oh my god, where'd you get your scarf from? You could say, girl, I made it. <laughs> so you can definitely make it however you like, choose whatever colors you like, whatever pattern. Um, but the basic instructions will be all here in this video. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get started! Here are the materials I will be using for my scarf. A dark red yarn, I end up using two rolls. A dark yellow yarn from the same brand. Aluminum circular needles, these are a US size 8 and 16 inches long. Scissors and a tapestry or embroidery needle. Everything will be written in the description box down below. I'm pulling out a long strand of yarn for my cast on. I create a cast on loop and put it through my needle. I begin to cast on my second loop and continue until I have 51 of them. Be sure not to make them too tight like I did at the start. Using some white yarn, I am going to create a stitch marker so that I can see the start and end of my row. To do this, I create a knot big enough to fit around my needle and cut off the excess yarn. After creating my cast-ons, I place the stitch marker at the end. Now I'm ready to start knitting. Placing the second needle from the front to the back, I wrap both strings around the needle and pull them through. I do this to give the scarf a clean look for when I need to cut the excess yarn later. This also helps to keep it from unraveling. Moving on to the next loop, I grab the longer yarn and let go of the excess. I continue to knit normally and through all 50 loops. Once I have reached the end, I simply move my stitch marker to the other needle and begin again. I am going to knit 15 rows of the red yarn. Don't forget to move your work up as you knit. To change colors, I am lining up the yellow yarn with the red and knitting both of them together just for the first loop. Then I am letting go of the red and continuing with the one yellow yarn as normal. I cut off the red string, leaving a tail to weave in at the end. I make three rows of the yellow, three rows of the red, three more yellow, and 15 red again. I keep on repeating this pattern. I'm not sure exactly where, but I made a mistake somewhere at the start and somehow ended up with 55 rows instead of 51. Mistakes are okay and it is hardly noticeable. Now I am ready to cast off. I knit the first two stitches as normal. I take the first stitch and pull it over the second. I knit one new loop and repeat until I reach the end of the row. Making one last loop at the end, I cut away the yarn and pull it through the loop securely.
Using my pink plastic embroidery needle that I found in my sewing box, I am beginning to weave the tail ends of my yarn. I simply weave them in and out of the stitches three times and cut off the rest. Checking the front to make sure it's not visible. I continue to do this for all the strings. It goes by a lot quicker than you think. I am turning my scarf inside out to expose the knitted side. There is an unevenness where we started and ended our rows. To hide this, simply fold the scarf on the edge. Using some pieces of cut yarn and the embroidery needle, I am creating fringe to both ends of my scarf. After that, I'm finished. My scarf is 60 inches long and took me two weeks to complete. I'm really pleased with the result. You can make your own and watch a Harry Potter marathon to help you pass the time. I really hope this video is informative, and this is how my scarf turned out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you aren't already for more Harry Potter style videos, vlogs, so much more. My channel is pretty much a whole mess of everything. So I'm pretty sure you guys will find something you will enjoy. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video next time. Bye.